Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we're covering the absolute best class setup in Modern Warfare right now for the Fennec, I believe that's how you pronounce it, or the Vector. Now, this weapon has a total of 54 different levels, which actually didn't take me too long. I think it took me a total of two hours of gameplay which wasn't too bad at all. This gun, in my opinion, can go head to head with the MP5 with the majority of gunfights. I do think that it's still falling a little bit behind, but overall, this is a great alternative to use. You're seeing everybody use this right now. Everybody. It's crazy. But let's go ahead and jump into this class setup. I know that's why you guys are here. First, for my barrel, I'm running the ZLR 18-inch Deadfall. I believe you unlock this at level 50, I want to say. Somewhere around there. This has a ton of pros, as you can see. You get extra damage range, recoil control, bullet velocity, and sound suppression. So that's like the monolithic suppressor with a barrel. Now, you're losing a little bit of your aim down sight speed and your movement speed, but overall, with the attachments that we're adding shortly, that's not going to matter too much. Next, for my laser, I run the TAC laser. I've seen a lot of people either not run the laser at all or use the 5 milliwatt laser. Completely up to you. I use the TAC laser because you're getting a lot of that aim down sight speed back, your aiming stability, aim walking steadiness, which you know is helping with that barrel that we put on. Next, I run the 40 round drum mag. Now, this is something a little different than what I usually do. I hate being weighed down, and this does weigh you down. But this gun goes through ammo so damn fast. You can't go without it. You're just going to get smacked around. Moving on to our rear grip, I run the stippled grip tape. This is once again helping with that in down sight speed, your sprint to fire speed very very important especially with smgs those close quarter gunfights you guys know how that all goes it's very very important you're losing a little bit of your aiming stability but overall this gun has great stability in general last but not least i put on the perk sleight of hand so that you can reload a lot faster on top of just flying through bullets this gun feels like it just reloads so much slower and it's terrible it's terrible so I've also seen people take off the TAC laser and put on the Forge TAC CQS stock. That's completely up to you. I like running the TAC laser. It works great for me. This class setup is really, really great. I've enjoyed using it. It's overpowered, really fun to use, and I'm sure that you guys will have a lot of fun with it. Again, overall, starting out, this gun has great control, great accuracy. That's not really something that I was worrying about when going into picking these attachments. So I wouldn't worry about that recoil control too much. Now I wanted to jump into a match so that I can show you guys just how good this gun really is. So we're going to play a free-for-all. Again, I'm using this exact class that I showed you guys. Nothing is changing. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, while we're waiting for a match, I did want to let you guys know that I appreciate y'all so very much. I am closing in on 3,000 subscribers. Just a year ago, I was stuck at like 1,300 for probably like two years straight. It was not moving at all. And now I'm gaining roughly 200 subscribers a month, and that just baffles me. But if you guys have enjoyed these videos and you're not subscribed, please consider it. It does help me more than you guys know. But now we're jumping into Vacant Free-For-All, which I think is going to be, honestly, a really good map to try this out. It hasn't started. Yeah, this, this is going to be great. I'm going to enjoy this. I hope. I probably just jinxed myself, let's be honest. Alright, so we heard someone right around the corner here. There we go. Alright. Got another person behind us, and my sensitivity is too slow. I hate that I have trouble turning sometimes, but I'm too stuck in my ways to change my sensitivity. The overall, it has pretty good accuracy. I hit most of my bullets at that range. I mean, it's no AR, so you're not going to be able to take those gunfights all the time. But we're starting off really great here. We have six kills. 
one thing to remember with the tack laser as well or any lasers that people can see it so they can definitely put you at a disadvantage Ooh, that could have been bad but honestly i don't find it as too big of a disadvantage i don't think that i've really found a difference in my gameplay when using it and when i'm not using it in regards to how people are killing me or seeing me this is going really well we're already at 10 kills two minutes in oh no that could have been bad This is really good. We're at 13 kills, 6 deaths, 2 point something KD. Enemy UAV overhead. Nope, get back here. There we go. Now you guys can definitely run without either... I would say if you're going to run without either the 40 round mag or fast hands or sleight of hands, I would definitely run without sleight of hands. Good lord, that up with... Ah! And it's a shotgun. Because you definitely need one or the other. I will jump into a private match right after this game just so that we can really see how big of a difference it makes. It feels like I'm reloading a damn LMG every time that I try to reload this without sleight of hands. And I was really struggling with that before I got my attachments. And I still almost died. That's terrible. VTOL? Who has a VTOL? That's okay. We're still going to win this. We got it. There we go. Go ahead and put on stopping power rounds. We have our VTOL whenever this goes down. No! Oh, that could have been nasty! We're 24 and 11, still looking solid. And I didn't see him. I'm honestly surprised that someone got a VTOL. Five. We only need five more kills. One reason that I really like this barrel as well is because you do have that sound suppression. So it is like you're running the monolithic suppressor, which everybody runs on so many different weapons. And it's just included and it's great. We're going to have... Ooh. Go ahead and throw this up. Why not? I don't know if you get the XP if you don't throw it up. Or if it, like, even registers. Woo! We only need one more kill, I think. Yeah, just one more. This is going to be really easy. Overall, this gun is just a really solid, like I was mentioning. It's solid op- or, um, what's the word? I, I just had the word, but now I can't remember. It's a solid change, a solid... You can use this alternative. That's the word. See, 30 and 16, it's a solid alternative from the MP5, the MP7. Again, I think that it is at a disadvantage. Maybe if it had a faster reload speed, maybe a larger base mag, that it would be right up there with it. But just right now, it is not. But again, a solid alternative alternative for sure now we're jumping into this private match so that i can show you guys the difference i'll definitely put it side by side so we have the 40 round mags let's go ahead and take everything off all right so we're looking at the the next now without any kind of attachments no 40 round mags or anything the just overall it's a fairly slow reload especially when you're in the middle of gunfights i mean i i hate it I hate it. I don't know why it's so slow. I don't know if that's just me. I don't know, but I hate it. Now we're going to go ahead and put a sleight of hands on this. All right, now we have a sleight of hands. Get this somewhere a little nicer lighting, just why not? See, it feels like it almost cuts it in half. 
I don't know if that's accurate. I'll put a timer for right next to each other or something. But this is so much faster. Again, the 40 round mags, the sleight of hands are both very crucial, at least running one of them in my opinion. I honestly don't think that this will be a viable weapon to use if you're not running one or the other. I'm running both, it just makes it that much better. Again, it's all down to personal preference, whatever you guys want to use. But anyways, that will be my class setup for the Fennec or the Vector in Modern Warfare. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed my video. This is, I believe, I want to say my 7th or 8th video for the Obey RC. I've been a little slow this week. I've been sick, my family's been sick, and it's kind of just sucked. But I'll have one more, maybe two more videos out for the Obey RC this week before the ending on the 21st. But anyways, again, if you guys enjoyed my video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps me far more than you guys will ever know. I should be hitting... A 3,000 subscribers in the next week or so and i'm really excited anyways thank you guys for watching as always i love you guys i appreciate you guys and i will see y'all in the next one